All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put the blade on your new Harbor Freight Chicago Electric uh, compound uh, sliding miter saw. Just bought this today, and uh, it doesn't come with a blade, so you got to put the blade on. So the first thing that you want to do is you got to remove this uh, this blade guard assembly. So first thing you do is this bolt here you have to take you have to unscrew that and that that's counterclockwise so you get this allen wrench with it with the tool when you buy it so after you loosen that take that out there's a little washer set that on the side next thing you have to do is you have to remove this bolt and they don't give you an allen key for that so I'm, this is close to a 3 16 I think it's a metric I'm not sure what it is but they don't give that to you and you after you take that out you loosen this one and it's also counterclockwise that on the side and then you have to move this up and away so you have to take this kind of push it push it down and kind of get it out like this so once you do that that kind of exposes the arbor where you're going to put the blade on so here this one here it's different these are counterclockwise but this is clockwise to remove it. I already loosened it. It was really on there tight. So uh, it's a good idea when you're loosening these for the first time to wear gloves because when you're cranking on that, you could easily catch your hand on here and uh, cut yourself. So that's clockwise. Take that out. And then you take out this piece there's still another piece on there you leave that on now I got a, a new uh, 10 inch fine finish wood cutting 60 teeth blade uh, this is a nice blade I got this on Amazon and I can't remember the price but it was a good price You're going to fit that, you know, it fits right on, so there's a little little spindle on there. And then take this, and, well, here's, here's one thing to pay attention to. You have to make sure the arrow on the blade goes in the same direction as the arrow on the saw. So once you got the blade on, then you can take this part, and remember the part that bows out is on the outside so you you fit it on there on that little spindle and put that in and that goes counterclockwise to tighten it once you get it in there hold that spindle lock Tighten it. Then you put this back together. So take this, swing it back this way. You can take this this bolt here, put it back in that spot, tighten it down by going clockwise. First before I tighten that, I'm going to 
put this one on. Goes back in here. Again, that tightens by going clockwise. And then you can then you can tighten these up. Make sure this this part here is completely seated in there. And after that, just go ahead and tighten it up with a supplied wrench. Give it a good crank on there. Same thing with this one. You have to turn that clock clockwise. Give it a good crank. And that's how you put on a new blade on the 10 inch compound sliding miter saw Chicago Electric uh, from Harbor Freight.